All right. Here we go. Give me one second here, guys. Time to change the discs. How's everybody doing in the chat, by the way, today? Game over already. <laughs> nah, I just got to change the CD. It's two discs for those of you, for those of you guys that don't know. All right, so I got to take the first disc out, put in the second one. Let me wait for a second before I press start. All right, should be good. Should automatically read it, I think. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Angie, XG64, Colin, Jason, everybody else. All right, here we go. Oh, that's right, there's somebody over here. Let's take him out. Let's see, how am I doing on L? Oh, I'm so good. All right. I gotta watch out here. Don't wanna fall down there, otherwise that's gonna suck. Really full? Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> I need to be very careful in this part right here. We just duck down. Just in case it comes back. Alright, we'll just wait here for a second until that thing passes by us again. Of course, it would stop there. <laughs> oh man, I hate this part. <laughs> Alright, I think there's a guard down here, I believe. Yeah, he's all the way downstairs, though. much that I needed here. Oh, I might have to take out this guy. Son of a bitch! Oh! <laughs> God damn it. Of course he had to turn around. Wait, there's somebody else here? That was it? Oh. Okay. Cool. Wait, I think this thing... Yeah, this thing takes us back up again, so I'm not gonna take it. Yeah, back then we had... <laughs> we had games on two discs, four discs. Yep. This was before DVDs. I'm going to try to play Metal Gear Solid, but, well, after this one, I'm going to try to play 2, 3, and 4 before The Phantom Pain comes out in September. Uh, I wonder how far I'm going to get, but, I mean, whatever I don't finish, um, you know, I'll come back to it after after I beat uh, Phantom Pain. Oh, damn. Just trying to avoid that. Not really. Let's see, I remember I could go down here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Throw a ch chap grenade here. Oh, the body armor. I don't think I'll be using that too much. Alright, let's get out of here. I mean, I'm, I'm actually hoping I can actually get through all four of those games before the Phantom Pain comes out. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far we get. Actually, you know what? Should probably... Take this ration that's back here. Yeah, why not?
Seems like it, Lisa. <laughs> it seems like it is. Oh, wait, is this the place with the mines, or is this where the... Oh, okay. Not yet. Yeah, there's an area coming up with a couple of claymores that I can remember. I think it might be where we're heading to next. Right after we go down this lift. Fox die, Lisa. Yeah, fox die. <laughs> Alright, oh, wait a second. Don't we have a battle here, I believe? Wait, hold on. Let me check. There he is! Yep. I had a feeling. Oh, wait, we're switching to that. Ah, oh, I wanted to choke him out. <laughs> Just like I did that one guy. Come on, come on, come on. That'll save some time. There we go. Some rashes will be nice. any more show up. At least I hope not. Are you serious? Damn. Let's hope for some rations. Well, I was going to equip the body armor, but I was afraid that they were going to shoot me too much, and it would have been too late to switch to the rations. Oh, wait, this is the spot. Yeah, this is the spot, I think. And I think there's also a camera around here, I believe. Yeah. Alright. Throw a chaff grenade in there first. No, I didn't die. They just jumped onto the lift. I gotta watch out here. Don't wanna go too far. Yeah, there's some claymores around here somewhere. Let me get the thermal goggles so I can see them. It's too red. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? I can't get any more. See, if I recall, I think there's a. I think this is a ration, I believe. Nice. I'm going to take that. There we go. Okay, not a whole lot straight ahead. Well, as far as claymores go, I mean. I think it should be safe. Damn. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Alright. Go back to the rations again. Don't remember if we have another battle here. Sounded like they jumped and died. No, they're... They were good. I, I, I killed them afterwards. They don't attack me, do they? Oh! Oh, now they're gonna whoop my ass. Oh, we're saved. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay, what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied. She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. 
The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, I remember what happens now. It's almost time for another boss battle. I think there's a ration here. I'm gonna take one just in case. There should be one, I believe. Oh, there better be one. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, let's head inside. End of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. How dare you kill my friends? Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> But that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. Ooh. All right, here we go. Let me see. Um, I think I use a stinger for this battle. Oh, he managed to shoot the damn missile. Wait. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> All right. I gotta try to hit him as quick as I can, otherwise he's gonna shoot the missile down. I'll give my chance here. There we go. Hopefully he comes that way. Going, you big bastard. Come on out. Over here waiting for you, big guy. Boom. Alright. Oh! 
Damn, I should have aimed this way. Would have been able to get him, I think. No, now he's going faster. Nice. Actually, I thought that was going to miss. Shoot that down. Oh crap. Nice. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> He's looking at me and then he turned around. Did that hit him? Damn! Son of a bitch. Get up! Because at this point I can't shoot him anymore, otherwise he's just gonna keep hitting the missiles. I try to be quicker. Oh, there we go. We still get him. Nice. I haven't used a ration yet, so this is good. I'll be fine. As long as I keep them equipped right there, I'll automatically heal. Oh, wait. Oh, I hope he comes this way. Ah, oh, he didn't come this way. I picked that up. Yeah, he can actually uh, blow up on the claymores. Oh my god, that was a bad spot. He's be coming this way, I think. Oh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Boom! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. He's coming this way? Yes, he is. There we go. Come on, one more. Oh, I wish you could shoot this thing down or something. I'd like to get those, uh, those rations up there. Which way are you coming, big guy? Might be coming this way. He better be. Yep. There we go. Nice. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But. My body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake. Take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it?
that was not the Dharma Chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching. Snake, it's me. Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Ta. <laughs> All right, that's it. So, I guess the only one left is Liquid Snake. I think we pretty much took care of everybody in Foxhound already. Except for Liquid. Alright, so... Eh. Kinda need some health. Hopefully there's a ration nearby or something. There was one somewhere around here, but... Yeah, I don't think it's gonna show up anymore. Let's have a quick look here. Yeah, probably not. All right, I guess we'll keep moving then. To 
to be continued. Yep. Oh, God, this place. <laughs> Hold on, let me throw a chaff grenade here. There's a bunch of those uh, camera turret things. Gotta watch out. Actually, wait, there's a ration straight ahead, too, I think. Yeah, that as well. I think I might have to use another one. I think there's some stuff up here, I believe. Oh, hopefully that's enough. Come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, nice. <laughs> Barely made it. Just in time. I wonder what that is straight ahead. Metal Gear. Hey, Rosie, how you doing? Wait, I don't think there's anything over there. Not yet, at least. We'll head up. Or not yet. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Okay, where are we? Guess we're gonna head on up now. I think I have to use a PAL key, I believe. I don't remember that there were some guards up here. Another call. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. All right. I think they gotta be up here, though, the, the guards that I was thinking of. here or maybe they show up after a certain cutscene I think nice yeah, I need that <laughs> yeah wrong game right <laughs> the shago hod metal gear ray arsenal gear spoilers Oh, wait, they're on this side, aren't they? Hold on, let me have a look. Oh, somebody's over there. Kind of hard to tell who it is, but, um, well, I kind of know. Snake, I did it! You got past security? Bingo! Great, so what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. 
Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. <sighs> the terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Oh, we better stop him then. Hold on a second, let me see. I... I... I thought I remembered that there was a guard around here. Oh, there is. There he is. Get my soak him ready. Gotta take him out. Where is he? Oh. This is barely turning. Is he gonna come this way? Yep. Is he dead? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, that was a waste of bullets. Oh, that didn't get any back. That's for the FAMAS, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Snake! Did you find it? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, Hammer Strikes, uh, YouTube is working. I'm uh, streaming there as well, and on Twitch. Oh, never mind about uh, calling Otacon again. Yeah, because he keeps calling me. All right. Let's head on up. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernotin, Russia? No, 
There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Armstech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. Well, he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours! What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the Armstech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. She's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. 
You see, the override system that the President was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn! On the drainage ditch. Snake, this is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Use us or a FOMAS. Ah, let me use a FOMAS. Yeah, I just gotta head all the way down again. All the way back down. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Hold on, just in case if I get really hurt. Or, yeah, let me go with that, I guess. Oh, they're coming. not on the other side. Alright, Hammer Strikes, no problem, man. No worries. Okay, well, I don't even think I want to go there anyway. I guess I'll just keep going down. I know Snake's got Butterfingers. <laughs> well, now that also that's a good shot. Alright. Go back to the SOCOM. I think the ladder was here. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> what if I don't want to get the key, right? <laughs> Screw it. Let him launch the nuke. Alright, now we gotta find that damn pal key. Alright, better equip this just in case. Might get my ass whooped in here. Wait, wasn't there a way to see what was in there? Oh wait, not through here though. Ah, oh, damn it. If I use this, I should be able to see it. Maybe. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, let me take that. I don't think there's any protection from that thing. Oh, come on, where's it at? A 
bomb? <gasps> uh oh. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Snake, did you find the key? No, it's not here. Don't be ridiculous. You saw it fall into the drainage ditch, didn't you? The drainage ditch. Isn't there something odd about it? No. There are a lot of big rats, though. That's it, Snake. A rat must have eaten it. Now who's being ridiculous? No, I'm right. There's no other possibility. Rats eat all sorts of things. There's nothing unusual about that. Are you kidding me? Wait. I don't remember that. I thought I remember that the thing was in here. <gasps> oh, fucking shit. I forgot. No. Oh my god! Forgot about the bomb. Oh no! That's one! <laughs> That's one death! <laughs> Alright, wait. I remember that that thing was in there! I would, always, I would always remember I'd get it from... Maybe I should check this side first. Maybe the rat probably ate it over here. Gotta watch out for that bomb again. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, great. That's right. Oh, can I just throw two of them? Yeah, see, now the bomb's not here. Oh, wait, 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 what was that? Oh. No, no, no. Crap, where is it? I think the rat probably ate it now. Probably gonna need some rat poison. All right, better take a ration here. Hopefully that'll be the only time I die. Oh, not again. Wait, let me throw it this way. I'm gonna be going the other way. All right, stay away from that thing. Yeah, he's just probably gonna tell me the same thing again. Maybe a rat ate it. Maybe this little bastard ate it. Wait, so... Hold up, if a rat ate it, so what am I supposed to do? Get some rat poison or what? I don't remember this. I don't remember this. Hmm. I don't think I could shoot the rats. Oh, that's some... That's some shit right there. I saw a little rat go inside that one area on the other side. Uh, damn it. Maybe I have to catch it. Yeah, because there's no way to aim and shoot. Like, like you can't aim at a... Like, in first person or whatever. So I gotta find that rat. Turd. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think maybe you have to catch the rat somehow. I just don't. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. You can't shoot the rats. But is the rat gonna come back out again? <laughs> Man. Yeah, because every time I would come to this place, I remember that there would always I'd always find it in the whatever the hell that is that we're going in. It's kinda easier to see the rats in the thermal. How do I bait it out again though? Wait, let me let me go back up and then come back down. Maybe it'll come back. Oh, all right, Wolverine. <laughs> What's up, Ginkgo? I don't know if, if a gun would do it. I'll, I'll try. I'll see if that works. I'm hoping that Snake will somehow aim, you know, aim down and shoot at shoot the rat. I guess. 
let me get my gun ready just in case. Just in case if that is what I have to do. If I have to shoot it. It's gonna suck! Oh! I don't know if I shot it or maybe I stepped on it. That's gotta be it, right? Yeah, there we go. God. <laughs> that sucked. Stupid bomb. Alright, I need to get out of here. Gotta go back up again. And oh man. Ah, let's just go. I'm gonna check to see if there's some more rations. I think we actually have to come back down here again, though. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I might have shot the rat, I guess. I'm not sure. I just don't remember doing that. I just remember every time I'd go down there, I'd always get it. Maybe I stepped on it. Yeah, maybe I did. All right. And I think that guard comes back, too. Ready. Yeah, maybe I had to. Yeah, I guess I had to leave the area for it to come back because it wasn't showing up again. Where is he? Oh, this guard doesn't come back either. Oh, there he is. Nobody's going the other way though. So I got some time to get over there. Hopefully. Best boss ever. That's <laughs> stupid little rat. <laughs> A member of Foxhound. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Um, wait. What the hell? Do I have to hit X or do I have to equip the key? Oh, there we go. Guess I had to. That sounds cool, man. Don't worry about it. Just take your time with it, dude. Oh, man. I gotta watch out. If I recall, I think that room gets filled with gas if I get caught. Alright. Gotta watch out for that guard. Where's he gonna be at now? Son of a bitch. Huh? What was that noise? Whose footprints are these? Give me some rations. Ah, whatever. That works. It's like a seven game series, yeah. <laughs> You're right about that, Wolverine. Hopefully I can start that soon. How am I gonna freeze and heat the key? I already, I already know how. We just have to head back to uh, certain areas to be able to change the shape of the key. Hashtag project. <laughs> so yeah, the first place we're going to is uh, where we fought Vulcan Raven. And then afterwards, we're gonna head back to the uh, to the first area where we started the stream today. Oh, wait. Hold up. I'm gonna go back to that place with all those cameras again. <laughs> what happened, Hammer? Okay, yeah. Hope the rations come back. <clears throat> ah, no, it didn't. Okay. So, yeah, we gotta go right here for the next one. Yeah, you have to backtrack, but not not much. It's not a not a whole lot, I guess. Oh wait, for the third one, yeah, I do have to. 
Like a, like a little bit further out, I mean. Because I gotta take those lifts. Forgot about that. Alright, so I just gotta wait for it to change its shape. So, not yet. I don't even think there's an... Oh! I don't even think there's an indicator letting you know that it's changed. Some loading. Wait, is it buffering the stream for you, Hammer? Hold on a second. Yeah, that's true, Mega Man. Okay, not yet. Yeah, I just have to keep checking, I guess. I don't think there's any uh, sound indication that it changed. Still the same. Maybe running around might help. Oh, there we go. It changed. All right. So yeah, notice that it's different now, right, right there in the uh, description. So now we gotta go back. All right, Wolf Rail. Yeah, I, I thought I remembered that there was like an indicator. Oh, god. Oh wait, wait a second. <laughs> I thought I remembered that there was like an indication that like it would make a sound when it would change. Or maybe that was in Twin Snakes. It might have been in that game, I guess. Thought I remember it playing a sound. All right, yeah, now we gotta head all the way back up again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I wonder why you can't see the YouTube live stream, Hammer. And you said you're on, you're trying to view it on mobile, right? But it doesn't show that I am streaming. That's weird. Any of you guys on the YouTube stream on mobile, by any chance? Like if, I mean, using the uh, the mobile app, I mean, the YouTube app. No. Oh. Damn it. No, <laughs> get up there. I don't know, I've never messed up this part. Oh my god. There you go. Yeah, I don't know if it ever changes back to normal if you wait too long. More than likely, it probably does, because we're in uh, room temperature, I guess, or whatever. It'll go back to normal. Get this ready again. Okay, he's going that way. Alright, gotta use the next one. The middle one, I guess. Yeah, it does. You don't see the stream in your sub feed? Freaking YouTube. That's YouTube for you. I guess something might be going on with YouTube today, I guess. Alright, now we gotta go all the way back. A little bit further back. To change the key one more time. The stream is fine for you, but you're not on mobile. Is anybody, anybody in the YouTube stream on mobile by any chance? Oh, shit! Damn it, I looked away. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna give me anything, that's right. You didn't hear anything. Where's that? Oh, okay. Wait. There's a ladder here too? Down here? Oh. Yeah, there's a ladder down there, but I guess I can't take it. I actually never noticed it. Oh, you're on mobile, Jacob? Did you, um, like, did you get like a notification or something saying that I was streaming? Like on Gmail or whatever? Seems like a lot of you guys are not on mobile. Hmm. Well, one person said that they're in mobile. Yeah, it could be something probably going on with YouTube today. 
It happens. Alright. We're going even further back. Gotta get the chaff grenades out again. Yeah, I got the, the dock. I don't know if you've changed it recently, but I've, uh... Well, I downloaded it, I guess, or copied it down, I mean. Like, of the list. So, yeah, I got a wolf rail. Oh, wait a second. I think when we go back here, there's gonna be guards, isn't there? Ah! <laughs> that's right. I knew it. Let's take him out. Not close enough. There we go. Rations, please. Nice! Yeah! Alright. I'll take that. I'll be on my way. No notifications. Oh. That's interesting. Yep, something's going on with YouTube today. Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. Alright, let's head on up. I don't think we have to battle anybody this time on this thing. So we should be good. You did get one for Twitch, though? You just search my name, look under today, and see live. Oh. Yeah. Something going on today. Yeah, even some of the videos that I uploaded from uh, yesterday's live stream of this game. Uh, for some reason, some of the... Well, the thumbnails weren't showing up for me, either. Even even after I uploaded a thumbnail for the videos. But yeah, I don't know. Time for a codec call. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything else that we're gonna face here, I believe. Okay, yeah, there is. Hey, <laughs> YouTube is being drunk. <laughs> yeah, there's those days where YouTube doesn't work. Actually, it happens a lot. Alright, is this the room with the, uh... Oh, wait. Yeah, I think it is. Um... Hold on a second. Let me get my thermal goggles out. So I can see the claymores again. Just like this. Oh! Are you fucking kidding me? I was just standing here! Because <laughs> it wasn't looking at me. You know what? Let me just wait. I'm gonna crawl. 
I think I might be able to get some more claymores. Yep. Pick that up too. And that. Would be nice if I could pick them all up. Oh, I don't need that ration. Maybe I'll need it on the way back. Is there one straight ahead? Okay, I'm safe. Let me throw this. Oh, actually, let me go back to rations again. Boom! Oh! Damn it! Damn lift! Yeah, I got the body armor. I got it. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lisa. What did B say to you? Oh. Oh. I thought something was going to happen here. Alright, I think we're almost there. We're pretty close. Oh. I need to switch. Oh, hammer. Oh, you're Alex. Okay. Yeah, this is the place, right? Okay, yeah, this is. Oh, wait, but the guard comes down, doesn't he? Alright, I guess I'll just hide in here for a bit. And I'll switch over to the PAL key until it changes red. So, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta wait here for a bit until that car changes. I like the song though. Sounds pretty badass. Okay, hasn't changed yet. If I recall, we're, real, we're really not too far from the uh, end of the game. I don't even know if I'll be using that body armor. What's up, Mr. Ginkgo? <laughs> How you doing, man? You're good. That's good. That's good. I'm playing this awesome game, too. And I can't wait to play the other ones. Oh, there we go. Nice. I have to wait too long for that one. All right, time to run back. Underlay, underlay. Hurry, snake. Oh, I should have grabbed those, I don't know, ammo, I guess. Probably could have used it. Maybe. All right, I'm just gonna wait here until this thing goes all the way down. <laughs> yeah, Metal Gear Solid is awesome, man. I love these games. I wonder what's gonna happen now that uh, Kojima Productions is gone. Shame. Should I even bother with the shaft? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nah, I don't want to take any damage. Gotta hurry though. Come on. Blow up! Oh, I thought I was gonna hit a claymore. That was close. Yeah, I already warmed up. It's already good to go. Uh, I I played Revengeance. Yeah, I played uh, Rising. Or it's called Metal Gear Rising, not Metal Gear Solid Rising. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty fun game too. It was insane as hell. <laughs> I think Platinum made that game too. Okay, it's still red. <laughs> I'm hoping to be spinning like this doesn't make it, you know, go back to normal. Oh. Don't call me now. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. 
Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Grey Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who was he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor too, did you? The one that used Grey Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Grey Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox... No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox Dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages, they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi. I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. 
Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> ah! Snake! <gasps> Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Well, that took, <laughs> that took some time. I'm sure the card is probably back to normal by now. Nah, it's it's not. I'm sure it's still uh, it's still red. At least it should be. <laughs> Let me just double check. Yeah, it's still good. Okay. Gotta go back through here again. And uh, let me go ahead and see if there's some stuff here I can collect. Okay, not much. All right, let's keep going. Probably gonna need my SOCOM here. second oh. oh damn it there's th oh there's more now that's right <laughs> there we go there's more socom bullets oh you gotta be kidding me Come on, hurry up open up jeez that was close oh right um hold up oh i'm gonna throw one first Come on. Now everything's back. Alright. Yeah, I gotta hurry. I don't know how long it takes for this thing to change again, but um, hopefully it doesn't. I don't know. I've never messed up this part before, so I think I should be good. Actually, you're right. I should probably save my game before I head inside because uh, something big's about to happen. Oh, hold on. Let me get that. I might need that. Or actually, I will need that. Damn, I only got 24. Is there any more? Uh, maybe upstairs. I don't think there's no time. I don't think there's any time, though. Gotta keep moving. Come on. Come on, Snake. It's gonna hear me right now. Wait, let me get that. Okay, it's still good so far. <laughs> Better not change on me. Alright, I'm gonna call Mei Ling up here. Save my game. Maybe for the last time. Snake, Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the colonel thinking? Campbell is... I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. But please believe me, I'm here to help you until the end. Let's do it. I mean, just skip that. All right. Oh, gotta watch out here. Pal code number three confirmed. Pal code entry complete. Detonation code activated. 
No, why? Ready for launch. I deactivated it. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now.